Two police officers have been terminated from Lancaster after an investigation found they did not correctly follow the city's COVID-19 reporting protocols. But how far can companies go in punishing employees when it comes to the pandemic? Fox 43's Jamie Bittner takes a harder look at how just not following COVID rules can cost people their jobs. When it comes to taking on any COVID-19 protocol, it's somewhat murky water. This whole COVID-19 experience, the one thing that's been common, things are kind of developing as you go along. The discussion is being talked about again after two Lancaster officers were terminated following an internal investigation into the use and submission of false records related to the city's COVID-19 protocols. The investigation claims officers Heather Schaefer and Benjamin Lapp were accused of violating required standards of conduct for conduct unbecoming of an officer and for conduct suggesting they are unfit for service. No other details into the officer's termination is being released, but it's just one of several stories lately making headlines, which does raise the question over what rights workers actually do have when it comes to those employer policies. Fox 43 took that question to Scott Cooper, partner at Schmidt Kramer, who says it's important first to understand one, whether you're a state or federal worker. He says that may impact what your rights actually are. It can also depend on other situations, including if you're in a union or... Were you hired at the time COVID had already taken place or pre-COVID? Because when you're hired, you have certain conditions of employment. Making a fake vaccination card isn't like making a fake ID. In fact, it can carry a lot stiffer of penalties. And it's all because of this CDC logo you see right there on the top. And when you fake a vaccination card, you've actually illegally used the emblem of a federal agency, which is punishable, I think, up to five years in prison. When it comes to employer mandates, he adds, what's legal and what's not really comes down to your personal employment situation. In general, I would say everyone has the right to refuse to get the vaccine. You have the right to not wear a mask but under some circumstances, you could be terminated from your employment. Jamie Benner, Fox 43 News.